It's been a while. Once again, I need to stop these gaps in between streams like this. I, I need to stop it. The problem is, I just kept having shit get in the way. Uh, recently, I had some time. I thought we'd have time right now, but I had to go and take care of a friend who was extremely sick and all of that. That is priority on the streets. You, you always will. I, I, I will take care of my friends for anything else. They, they always come first. But, 
That's all taken care of now. Their feelings the wee bit better, and we have some time to enjoy the game. So, without further ado, let us kick on back, relax, grab a nice coffee, a nice drink, a nice cup of tea, whatever it feels like you need tonight, and kick back and relax because it's time for me and you, baby, to have some fun and go play Sam and Max. Beyond Time and Space Episode 2. So, without further ado, let's turn the music down real low back. Although I do like the smooth jazz. I'm not gonna lie, I do like it. I stumbled, I stumbled across the old uh, uh, Telltale uh, Games Poker Night. And I'm not gonna lie, I love the music. This is actually the theme from the Sam Max area. I like it. I like it a lot, but eh, I gotta, I gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get plugged. We can't just sit here and listen to music all day. Although that would be awesome, just sit here and listen to music with you all. I actually, uh, right. So for the longest time, I've actually been debating like showing you guys like one of my favorite bands as of late. The issue is, well, one, I don't be one of those streamers who's just like you know, hey, I'm gonna show you like an entire unedited song on stream and things like. I don't want to do that. So I've always been like debating like how would I pull it off properly. Also, yay, there's me in the corner. I look handsome. Pull a game of them, let's get down to business. Alright, so the last episode, we tried and we did beat Santa Claus. We sent him to hell because he was possessed by a demon. Also, Stinky's open, there was a giant roll that destroyed like eh, a good quarter of the street. And what else was there? Oh yeah, we made Jimmy not as a depressing of a rat. He's still a depressing rat, but he's, he's a bit less depressing. Alright, so we did that one. We had to go and do uh, Maui Better Blues. Maui Better Blues. That's what we're going with? Alright. A surprise trip to the tropics turns into a working vacation when Sam and Max sign up to stop a massive volcano eruption with a special blend of bewildering wit and renegade justice be enough to win over the gods? Not to mention the locals. I'm scared. I'm concerned. I'm confused. Also, I'm happy because I have hot cocoa. <laughs> I'm a very happy boy. You know, I just tried a uh, Swiss Miss in with uh, my uh, uh, coffee recently. Really, really good. Uh oh. Uh oh. OBS and the gamer shit in the bricks. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no! You can do it! Pull through! <laughs> I'm so glad I recorded these things. That way, they don't look as ass. From the archives of Telltale Games, Sam and Max. We made pretty good time coming back from the North Pole, eh, Max? If you say so, Miss Daisy. If I'd been driving, it wouldn't have taken us a whole month to get home. Well, I've got to go drain the DeSoto. You should have taken care of that before we left. Somebody insisted that we drive through the Hudson Bay with the top down. Ah! Is that a... Th th that's a whole ass triangle chasing down Sybil. What the hell was that all about? Hmm. That's what I'm asking. Unless I miss my guess, Sybil's being pursued by some kind of rogue semi-sentient interdimensional portal. Huh. Help! <laughs> the way she runs is amazing. Think we should try to help her? Can't think of anything better to do. Yeah, no, there's not much better that we can do. Um, gun! Stop! In the name of the law! Are you just absorbing the bullets, you son of a bitch? Rat! I can't shoot the rat. 
It's Stop some kind off. of semi-sentient interdimensional portal. No, okay, so I can't tell the stop, okay. Jimmy, have any well, ideas? Well, well, Jimmy Two Teeth. We were wondering where you'd scampered off to. What are you doing just standing there? Stop that thing! It already sucked up Big Otis and T-Bone. What are you doing just standing there? Stop that thing! I, I don't know how to. I already shot it. I did the American thing. I shot it first and asked questions later. It didn't work. Um... Maybe Bosco with his infinite wisdom probably knows. Or, oh, ooh, maybe Stinky. Actually, no, the computers! Howdy, you cops. Know. How's the auto body business? Hello! We're working on... <laughs> Hello! We're working on the Hello! most... <laughs> Chief, calm down, lady! <laughs> we're sorry. We cannot handle your request until you've taken care of the noise problem. <laughs> Duly noted. Oh, Stinky. You and your infinite wisdom of dumbass that actually pisses me off. Oh, damn it, stupid spot. Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Mmm, I'm pretty sure that's blur. What's that smell? It's blur. If anyone gets that reference, I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's blur. Oh god! Oh my god! Hey, you stinky. What's what's our boy doing over there? What's he doing over there? What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa. Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie Italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Are you sure it's not the blood of an old disgruntled man named Stinky? Hmm? Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired. Went on an around-the-world cruise. Stinky hated traveling. And water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? Um... So, well, actually, before I do, right, what's Flint doing here? Like, he is just perfectly posed. What's Flint there. Paper what's, doing what's here? What's he doing over here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. You know... I want to say you have a body back there, right? I want to say you have a body back there, but like... At the same time... From what I can guess about Flint and the stereotype that he fills, you know, I can actually see the fact that he is smoking through so many cigarettes and going through so much coffee that you don't have a barely a minute to do anything besides maybe slightly attempt to clean that spot. Next time you hear so from him, tell Grandpa possible. Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate, and I refuse collect calls. What is it with you guys? <laughs> a rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialized in the more circular, interdimensional portals. Some expert? Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. I mean... <laughs> Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short-term, but thanks. Very helpful. Very helpful, thank you. Very helpful. What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. You... 
I I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me let me check my ears here. Clean them out slightly. Um. Are, are you serving rocks on sourdough? Oh, stinky! This entire fucking diner makes me want to scream. Oh. We're ready to order. <laughs> Give us the special, eh? We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. Oh my god, <laughs> it's I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. I... Max would like the kids special. That's for kids only. But I have a childlike sense of wonder. Hey, I don't make the rules. Max would like the kids special. Give him the special. That's for kids only. But I have a childlike sense of wonder. Hey, I don't make the rules. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. Uh, give me a green salad with crack nuts. We want the green salad, extra smoky, with a side of crack nuts. Sal, the Jack Nicholson with Dennis Hopper and Gary Busey. Huh? I'm sorry, I slurped my. I slurped my cocoa, <laughs> trying to comment, trying to comment, which just said, what? What about fucking Gary Busey? Could we have the grilled cheese with Tabasco and a side of curly fries? Sal, mm. I need Diane Sawyer with a flamethrower hopped up on goofballs. Oh, so do I. <laughs> Actually, on that question, on that, hold the whole thing right, guys. I'm curious. What's y'all's favorite grilled cheese? What do y'all like for a grilled cheese? Me personally, I like uh, uh, Gouda, mozzarella, provolone, and pepper jack on sourdough uh, and fried in butter. Fried in butter. You know, I shouldn't use the term fried. Cooked in bu cooked in butter on a stove. Uh, 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 on a stove. I want to like that. So, oh my god, I am too tired. <laughs> Toasted in a skillet with butter. There we go. Good God. We want the green salad, extra smoky, with a side of cracked nuts. Sal, the Jack Nicholson with Dennis Hopper and Gary Busey. There it is, okay. Can I have a soft-boiled egg on waffles? We'd like the soft-boiled eggs on waffles, with coffee, extra cream. Sal, get me Scooter Libby on a glockenspiel with Mike Tyson singing alto. Excuse Deep fried devil dogs? I'll have the deep fried devil dogs with a diet drink, and Max will have the salad plate with extra blue cheese. Sal, half a Jack Black with a supersized Kira Knightley. In deep denial. I want to know what goes on in that kitchen back there. On second there. thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. Bye, Stinky. I, I, I really want to know what goes on in that kitchen. All right, let's see what you got going on over here. Mmm, that ass. It is so flat you could iron your shirts on it. Oh, Look, Flint Max, it's paper. our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would you? I'm doing surveillance. Oh, boy. Real detective work. Who are you spying on? Some mug name of Bosco. Wait. You're, you're spying on our neighbor? You're spying on the one grocery store's entire side of town? Why are you checking out Bosco, Flint? For a client, Samo. Said she was the poor chump's mom. She was a real no-nonsense dame, with legs up to here. Hairy legs, but still. Yeah. How goes the stakeout? Getting interesting, fellas. Bosco may be on the move. Yeah? He's acting awful suspicious. Oh, that's just Bosco. Yeah, no, that that that, that that's just Bosco. That is Bosco being Bosco. He is completely and totally always suspicious and looking cracked out of his mind. Like, honestly, he could give Alex Jones a run for his money. How's the stakeout going, Flint? Shh, this is make or break time, boys. He could hightail it out of here at any second. How's the stakeout going, Flint? Shh, this is make or break time, boys. He could hide. All right, so he's done. Where's the band? I keep hiring drummers, but they keep combusting. And not slowly over time, either. Spontaneously. It's a gong with no gonger. Where's J.P. Morgan when you need her? 
I, I have to do it. Shit. I misclicked. Satisfying. Very much so satisfying. Very much so. West Dakota. Wizards really made his mark. The Philippines. Come for the cockfighting. Stay for the chicken. Lake Titicaca. That can't be real. Come enjoy Lake Titicaca. We have all the best boats. All the best views. Oh, would you love to see the massive, massive mounds you have to gaze upon when you're sailing down upon Lake Titicaca. <laughs> Obasco! Parakeet Revolution. Parakeet Revolution? What? What? Hey, Bosco, what do you know about suddenly appearing interdimensional portals? Well, I hear a lot of things. What does it look like? Three sides, reddish, chasing Sybil. Oh, well, what you got there is a Bermuda Triangle. Of course. Why didn't we think of that? Wait, chasing Sybil? You mean it's here? Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Why would it not be good? Please, do inform me why would it not be good? What's the Bermuda Triangle doing all the way up here? Sometimes they just like to wander. Unless it was summoned by T-H-E-M. We're not going to do this again, are we? The joke like last time where I just say them and you start screaming until I say it so much you're going to annoy it and bash me in the head. Is that it? We're not going to do that, are we? We're going to... My phone is ringing. Oh, it's spam call. I'll take care of it later. Who summoned the triangle here? I told you! T-H-E-M! I really hope you're talking about the giant ants this time. Giant ants? That's crazy. I'm talking about the mysterious cabal of controllers who summoned the triangles as sentient portals to do their dark bidding. Well, that makes sense. If there's a triangle in our neighborhood, that means they're coming! They are coming? Once again, who is they beyond, like, what can you tell me about they? Who is them? Who is they beyond, you know, this, this mysterious global cabal, please? Why does the tell Bermuda Triangle more. have such a grudge against all those boats and planes? Oh, the Triangle got a bad rap for that. Scientists say those accidents were caused by sudden explosive outbursts of methane gas. Speaking of which... Max, don't. What, Sam? I was going to point out that many phenomena long believed to have paranormal causes have actually turned out to be far more mundane in origin. Only one phenomenon's tremendous power continues to baffle scientists and defy rational explanation. What's that? <laughs> no! I am more mature. I am more mature than this. I am a grown ass man. Why am I laughing at fucking pork chops? <laughs> it's the build up. It was the fucking build up. <laughs> On a side note, can someone please get Max a new pair of pants? <laughs> <laughs> Why has the triangle got you so spooked? It's a bad omen, guys. Nice They're work. coming for us. Bone, I'm going to work even harder to get my emergency bunker in shape. And I recommend you two do the same. Is our emergency bunker in shape, Max? It sags a little, but you try looking that good after two kids and a Y2K scare. It... Your, your bunker had kids? Excuse me? How do we help Sybil? Once a triangle gets imprinted on you, it's tough to shake it. But they say you can train them, if you can figure out how to communicate with them. How do you communicate with a triangle from Bermuda? How do we communicate with the triangle? Well, they're very attracted to symbols and sigils. And sibyls, apparently. Mm-hmm, those two. They're not real picky. They're driven by shapes and colors. A pink rhombus makes it nostalgic for the 50s. A red octagon makes it stop whatever it's doing. A blue icosahedron makes it sit in its mom's basement and draw maps of dungeons. 
And they can't see or hear. So you've got to feed them a symbol of what you want them to do. We have to feed it a... Okay... We'd like to buy something. I told you fools last time. The store's closed. But I've been craving a pack of beef tarts for weeks now. It's the delicious tangy candy that makes its own gravy. Help us out, Bosco. Stop wasting my time. I'll never get the bunker ready if you two keep jabbering at me. That... that actually sounds disgusting. Behold, the one and only improved recipe beef tarts. If you suckle on it, it makes its own gravy. Bye today. <laughs> Please, by today, if you want to speed run your life to a whole new level of diabetes, if you want to be the first person to invent diabetes type 3 and scare doctors all over the planet, enjoy the beef tart and enjoy suckling on your own gravy. Produce a mixture of your spit and the luscious, sugary, Beef residue encrusted on the candy. <laughs> you can't close the store, Bosco. Everything we value was bought or shoplifted from here. Don't you see? The end is nigh. Nigh? Yes, nigh. Wandering Bermuda Triangles, strange radio transmissions. Don't you see? It's T H E M. They're coming. I have to relocate before it's too late. Where are you planning to go? Oh, uh-huh. You'd like me to tell you where my emergency bunker is. No chance. You'll have to stop goofing off and build your own. It's just like the fable of the grasshopper and the ant. If the ant were a paranoid lunatic. And the grasshoppers, too, come to think of it. You're, you're all paranoid lunatics. Not that we're planning to hide in it, but uh, where's your emergency bunker, Bosco? For the last time. My secret bunker's secret location is a secret. Not where's that we're planning bunker, to hide Bosco? in it, but uh, where's your emergency bunker, Bosco? For the last time, my secret bunker, secret location. All right, all right. Let's see. Watching so the skies, long, Bosco. Bosco. Always. It's a combination shredder, incinerator, compactor, and humidifier. Big deal. So am I. Weenie. These weenies come pre-jerked. Ooh, banana. Hey, Matt, Whee! remember Banang, the painfully strong banana-flavored drink mix? Sure. It's been off the market for ten years, and I still can't get it out of my mind. Or my kidneys. Get your paws off that. It's all for my secret bunker. Why did, why did I hoard all the Banang, my man? I, I want some Banang. Hey, Bosco, why do you need a periscope? I don't. As long as this store stays above water. Why wouldn't it? Never you mind about that. And if we start to dive... Don't let the pressure doors hit you on the way out. Excuse me? I was going to make a pun about a developing situation, but I thought better of it. You know, I appreciate that. I do. I appreciate that. I always that. thought enlargers would be smaller. It's a combination microwave and x-ray machine. Perfect! Now we can see what's living inside the burrito and then watch it die. Fancy. What are you listening to? D don't touch that! That's my only contact with T-H-E-M. Can this tell the difference between earthquakes and zombie uprisings? What do you think earthquakes are? D do you mean to tell... Hey, look, it's our old friend Hepatitis A. And Giardia, we haven't seen you guys in years. Wow, has it been that long since we ate here? Th th that joke aside, do do you think earthquakes are like zombie uprisings, you dumb, dumb motherfucker? Bosco Tech Cryogenic Chamber and Ice Cube Maker. Fancy. Amazing. There's a perfectly preserved squirrel and a bunch of imperfectly preserved popsicles. How does... I'm not going to question it. We've learned the hard way that tinfoil hats aren't much good against mind control, or battle axes. But they're a great defense against working microwaves. That they are. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We gotta find something to make the big old triangle come to a halt. 
Don't worry, Sybil. We'll come and save you uh, eventually. We have things we have to do though first. Namely, and namely, annoy the neighbors and find the proper shape. Ooh, a message. Hi, Max. It's Max from the future. I've come back to warn you. Don't forget the twelve monkeys. Also, tell Sam I said hi. What was that about? I'm making twelve monkey chili. And do you usually forget to add the monkeys? No, I just forget to peel them. Uh, how does one forget to peel the monkeys in a 12 month? Whatever. Uh, this is the blood bank calling for Mr. Max. Um, thanks for your very generous donation, but we'd really prefer that people only donate their own blood. Great! Now what are we gonna do with all those buckets of sea monster blood? We could build a grotesque slip and slide. Great idea! We'll call it the birth canal. <laughs> no, don't do that. Hello, world. Uh-huh. He did? Uh-huh. That's so mean. But true. Well, gonna go, world. Call me later. All right, let's see. Window. The neighborhood's held up pretty well. What with all the Bermuda Triangles and robot attacks lately. Just wait until the 80-foot-tall Lagomorph stomps it flat. You're still taking those growth supplements? Can't you tell? No. Y you are still a wee lad. Small thing. Nice work, Max. So can I do you next? Thanks, but I'm not letting you anywhere near my head with those hedge clippers. Come on, you'll never feel a thing. That's what worries me. ch ch, -ch, -ch -ya. It's bad enough the TV station started showing static to cut costs, but now they're showing reruns. I haven't seen this one yet. Don't tell me how it ends. I mean, you're missing an antenna, so like, I don't think you're going to get really much of anything. Hey, Leonard. Leonard looks surprisingly healthy for someone who's been in a closet for six months. I've been feeding him. Aw, oh, you old softy. I had to find some way to get rid of all those spiders. E ooh. Oh, poor Leonard. The finest in remote control fisticuffs. Oh, These goggles used Leonard. to let us access reality 2.0 before we broke them and it. That that's a that, that's a that's a bottle of that's a jar of hubeless piss. I'm just gonna move on from that. That finger painting looks oddly familiar. I put it on the new dollar. And a crabby senator from Kentucky. As, as you do. Okay. Well, let's go. I'm gonna find something to bring it into all this shit. Though I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do, though. Um... We have to get something to make him come to a halt. Uh, Christmas saved. Santa pronounced dead at the scene. He's not dead, just in hell. Probably best if we let the kids just think he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Parakeet revolution quelled. But I suspect the pigeons are still planning a coup. Maybe Stinky has something in the proper shape that we need? Hiya, Stinky. What? Oh. Let's see. Um. Ooh, yes, sign. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Excuse I don't have any me? quarters. No problem. The jukebox only takes 20s. Also, a jukebox that takes 20s? What's we got here? Nope. Oh god, no, 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 no. I'm not doing the soda pop song. Nope. I'm not doing that anymore. I refuse. 
You had a chance to do something nice, game. All right, let's see here. Um, sign. Triangle. Ah! Oh, oh, it stopped. Yay! Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil? My. Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! Babe, no! Be strong, my marble darling! I'll save you! As I was saying, All that there's nothing. another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You wanna jump in? You can read my mind, Sam! God, I hope not. Maui, oh no, Maui, butter blues. All that is to the intro. Ugh. Stop making me do a stinky. I hate doing a stinky. She actually annoys the shit out of me. But that's how you know the character's done right. Bang, bang. What? Why you keep going and coming back? Why? <laughs> Love it. Uh, my guess with the whole juice box, ju juice box, juke box, <laughs> is probably yeah, it's a fifty-fifty, baby. Well, hello. More tropical than I imagined a horrific alternate dimension to be. Help! Help me! Help! Oh, you big baby. But my nose sunburns so easily. I'll get it for you later. Oh, hi, Sam and Max. Are you guys on vacation too? Vacation? We came here to rescue you from unimaginable horrors beyond the portal of mystery. You could have at least had the courtesy to be impaled on spikes or something. Step aside, Harvey. You're blocking my tan. Well, thanks for the thought, guys. But this place is great. What was the name of it again? Rapa Nui? Rapa Nui! The crux of all paranormal activity in the South Pacific, commonly known as Easter Island. Because once you leave, three days later, you can't wait to come back. Abe and I thought this would be a great chance to get some alone time. Emphasis on alone. Ah, finally, someone has come to rescue us from the ancient prophecy. Oh, they talk? Uh-oh, Sam. Ancient prophecies can only mean two things. Tedious backstories and work we don't get paid for. Let's hear them out, little buddy. Well, all right. Maybe these giant stone heads have something interesting to say. What's all Ooh, this about a prophecy? Sassy. The Ancient One said this was going to happen. It's the end of our civilization. But you can stop the prophecy and save us all. What, 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 what prophecy? Okay, number one, what prophecy? And number two, you. You are a rude son of a bitch. Clever talk. Don't doubt me just yet. What exactly does this prophecy say is going to happen? The Carvers foretold a golden age of 1,000 years of peace. And then, a terrible cataclysm! The great volcano god Ranakau would reawaken and rain fiery death upon the island. Our noble civilization would come to an end! Hot damn! Sounds like we picked the coolest time to come. You know, it really does. What do you want us to do? You must stop Ronakau from erupting and destroying us all. <laughs> Legends speak of a hidden cave beneath the island where the ancient carvers built a means to pacify the volcano god. In the mood for a little spelunking and volcano god pacifying, little buddy? If by pacifying you mean squeezing the magma out of him like toothpaste from a savagely beaten tube, and by spelunking you mean spelunking, then yes! I... We'll take the case. Your Honor. What does that mean? Like the Hawaiian word aloha, it can mean many things like hello, goodbye, or as in this case, we're not going to pay you. 
Deadbeat really is the universal language. You are a son of a bitch. <laughs> your carver had no ass. I bet your carver drank white Gatorade and smelt like nickels. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Does the prophecy say anything else? Oh, there's a pretty good recipe for basalt brownies in there, but the volcano eruption and the end of civilization are the most interesting parts. There's a... In this prophecy of the end times, there's just this, this random recipe for basalt brownies? How about us? Does the prophecy mention us? Uh, not that I recall. Oh, there's the creation of the world. Then nothing until the iPod, followed by the fall of civilization. Not even a passing reference? <laughs> oh, right. There is that bit about the coming of the shoeless dog and the horrifying mouth that walks, who would appear in the final days to wreak mayhem on the island. Mm -hmm. I knew it! That makes an even dozen, doesn't it, Sam? At least. What Paris Hilton is to celebrity gossip blogs, Max is to ancient prophecies of the apocalypse. I I I don't want to know why Max is in like almost every prophecy. I I don't want to know why. Who are you guys anyway? We are the Moai, guardians of the island spirit, keepers of the elemental power. Sounds like either a good prog rock album or a bad animated series. I control the power of wind. Get out! Well, I used to control the wind. Now there's not much point to it. I realize as well, I think I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. I think I said Maui. Maui? You know, I've been pronouncing it wrong this entire time. I apologize. Now I look like an idiot. In my defense, I'm a dumb American. <laughs> If you control the wind, let's see a demonstration. Eh, I'm not really in the mood. Not in the mood? Come on, blow us up a typhoon. I guess I've just got a case of the blahs. I don't know. Oh, it can't be that hard. We saw Max earlier conjure up some power of the wind. Come on, blow us up a typhoon. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your stone slabs together and blow. Eh. I'm not really in the mood. That sounded weird. Where is this ancient hidden underground cave? It's hidden. Cool it, Rocky. We were asking the middle one. Unfortunately, he is correct. The entrance to the cave is shrouded in mystery, and the path is fraught with peril. Fraught with peril, or just rife with peril? This is the kind of thing we need to know going in. It doesn't matter, you'll never find it. Wow. What crawl... What? Who pissed in his weenies? What's the deal with all these triangles? The them? ancients used them to transport the sacred stones and to travel all throughout the world. And for practical jokes, which weren't funny. But, come on, they're funny. Have you heard the good news about rhinoplasty? What are you implying? Oh, nothing! It's good you're not bound by the conventions of traditional beauty. I'm just the way the carvers made me. <laughs> what do you guys do for fun around here? There's not much for us to do except keep watch over the island and wait for our inevitable destruction. <laughs> oh yes, and games of I Spy, of course. It's a palm tree. It's always a palm tree. Cheer up. Max and I will find a way to stop that volcano. Oh, good. Then we'll be able to go back to our important work of sitting motionless and staring. At least we have something to look forward to. I mean, if you're, you're, you guys are kind of like facing like the wrong way. I'm, I'm pretty sure we like looked out to the water. You find more things to play I spy with. Just be... Noah's Ark. What's left of Noah's Ark? So the legends are true! Someone really was crazy enough to save mosquitoes from extinction. And humans. Live and learn. It's a big-ass... Ooh, lost and found. Hello. 
Look at all this junk that's been sucked into the Bermuda Triangle. Anything good? Want to read the second half of the 20 commandments? Nah, I only support omnipotent deities when I'm the deity. Second half Let's of the see what 20 else is in here. Hey, Jane Austen's lower jaw. Don't get too excited. We're still two tibias shy of a complete set. Hmm. Leonardo da Vinci's sketches of a cold fusion reactor. A fully playable beta of Sam and Max Freelance Police. Okay. A cure for polo. I think you mean polio. And what's so bad about polio? Nothing but junk. Nothing but junk. Nothing but junk. Oh, come on. There, you gotta have something more in there. Come on now. The only thing that survived from the SS Minnow. Did they ever find all those irritating castaways? Nobody ever looked. The, fa the Fountain of Youth. It's the Fountain of Youth. Make a wish, Sam! Oh, shit. I wish there wasn't a deadly piranha swimming in it. I never wish that about anything. Better question, why are the fish wearing scuba gear? It's a gold gong. Why? Can I shoot it? Ooh, fancy. Well, hmm. Hey, you two. How's the vacation going? Oh, the weather's perfect. And there's so much history and culture. The best part is that Abe and I finally get some time all to ourselves, with no distractions. Isn't that right, Abe? Abe? What? Oh yeah, right. Culture. So, I have a very important question. Where did you get the full spread from? Where did you get the from? I wanna know. I'm hungry. Have you met any of the locals? Not yet. I wanted to explore more of the island, but Abe wanted to stay here. The view's so much nicer here. Er, of the ocean, I mean. Excuse you, Abe? Excuse you? Excuse the fucking wall. Did you know that the native language has over 50 words for boredom? I'm not bored, surrounded by such beauty. Oh, Abe. My guy, you are currently on a date. Have some standards, man. Just between the four of us, those Moai statues are real jerks. Now you just shut your mouth. Abe, I agree, Sam. They're all so sullen and moody. Right, because you're never moody. I wish these Moai guys would stop being so depressing. I've seen teenagers stuffed in lockers who were less emo than these guys. You're just too shallow to understand them. I don't know. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Look at me on the screen. I am extremely emo. I feel like I can relate. Like, these are my people. And they're, too, they're too depressing for me. On a side note, who wants to hear a horrible joke of the day? <laughs> tell me, tell me. Dear chat, viewers watching at home, on the archive and live right now. Tell me, how does one say hello to an emo properly? You go up to him and say, I like your cuts, G. <laughs> the volcano's going to erupt in a deadly rain of fiery magma. I Aren't you worried? Are you sure you're a dog? Because you sound like a big chicken. Oh, be nice, Abe. If it looks like the volcano's going to blow, we'll just hop back through the triangle. Wanna the help us stop the volcano? Bark, 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 bark. Sam, please. We'll help you with your little adventures when we're not on vacation. Have fun, kids. Don't wait up. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know about that one, Chief. Hello, we're Sam and Max, Freelance Police. What do you do? I'm the Guardian of the Stars. What was that? I can't understand you. I said I'm the Guardian of the Stars. Still can't understand you. Speak a little more clearly. I'm 
<laughs> you'd probably make more friends if you'd just enunciate more clearly. <laughs> you seem irritable. Want to talk about it? It's nothing. I just didn't you. <laughs> How's that dirt tasting? <laughs> How's that dirt tasting? <laughs> we are sons of bitches. Want a delicious sandwich? <laughs> Open your mouth. Oh, right, you can. <laughs> Want a delicious sandwich? No, thank you. I'm watching my figure. You're not the only one. Oh my <laughs> god, Lincoln. Lincoln. Oh my god. My man, you are on a date. Think with your head. Not with whatever is left, whatever may be left of your fucking stalactite and boulders down below. <laughs> you know what would cheer you up? A granite sandwich. A granite sandwich? That's the best you can do? Apparently your taste in cuisine is as refined as your sense of humor. I don't know about you, Sam, but I'm ready to chisel this guy a new one. You know... Why the long face? Yeah. It's just that we've been here for so long and there's so little for us to do. I have to question the soul-crushing bleakness of our existence, and... Oh, wait. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Took him long enough to catch on. The way that sob story was going, I thought he was about to show us baby pictures and have us sign his yearbook. Not cool. No, not cool. Hilarious. Do you believe in all this prophecy of destruction, mumbo-jumbo? Of course I do. I can feel Ranakau's anger rumbling even now. Me too, Sam. I think those tamales from Stinky's are repeating on me. Ah, scatological humor. Very classy. Extremely. <laughs> Cheer up, pal. So, your civilization is coming to a fiery cataclysmic end. Don't sweat it. I'm glad you can joke about the end of our civilization. I don't find it particularly funny. Don't worry. Be happy. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. <laughs> You should smile more, though. Lighten up, buddy. We're just trying to entertain the good people. Yeah, if you just smile, it'd draw attention away from your prominent brow ridge. So you're back to making fun of my appearance, hmm? Very original. What's your story? If you must know, I am the keeper of the power of Earth. Sounds neat. Why don't you give us a demonstration? I'm not going to unleash the tremendous power of the Earth God on just a whim. Shake the air. If we're going to help you with your volcano problem, the least you could do is shake things up a bit. This isn't some game! I wasn't granted elemental powers just to amuse you! Are we gonna have to dig this guy up to get the stick out of his butt? He wasn't always like this. There was a time, centuries ago, when the ground would shake with his laughter. And there was a time when you didn't need a sandblaster to fit in your ceremonial dress. That was uncalled Ooh. for. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you are so fucking uptight. Holy fuck, my man. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know. Chat, dear viewers, what do you think? Is there a chance we could get us get this stick out of his ass? Is there a chance in hell that maybe, just maybe, we could probably get the stalagmite out of his ass? Or is he just so uptight that there's not even a hope in hell that we could even drive a fucking sea fucking sandfly up his ass with a power jack? Power jack jackhammer. <laughs> I, I I had a whole lot of jokes there. I screwed it up. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go continue on. <laughs> What's the problem, Mac? 
Stop being so uptight and give us a demonstration. I'm not in the mood. Get lost. Oh, come on. Uh, you want to hear a joke? Hey, how many volcano gods does it take to screw in a light bulb? Hackneyed and blasphemous. Sheesh, tough island. Here's a good one. A Frenchman, a German, and a Maori are in a hot dog eating contest. Don't bother. He hasn't laughed in over 500 years. They just don't write comedy like they used to. Relax, pal. You're gonna turn to diamond if you don't unclench. It's not my fault you two aren't funny. There is no stone left to unturn. <laughs> this guy having a stick up his ass when I can't get one. <laughs> Relax, pal. You're gonna turn to diamond Gustav. if you don't unclench. It's not my fault you two aren't funny. Gustav. Don't go anywhere. Bad. We'll be back. Bad. Is that supposed to be funny? Gustav, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> oh my, how lewd. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sam, look! Clues! Hmm, my wilderness tracking See skills have gotten rusty, but something game. tells me this Don't just see. might be the ancient entrance to the secret underground lair of the Volcano God. Where do you two think you're going? Oh, Sam, he's got a little gun. Isn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> Can we keep him? Try not to get imprinted or shot, Max. We still don't know who this little tyke belongs to. Jimmy Hoffa belongs to nobody. Jimmy Hoffa? You can't be Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa was a ruthless union organizer and head of the Teamsters in the 50s and 60s, known for his ties to organized crime and his mysterious disappearance. Good recap, Sam. Also, Jimmy Hoffa wasn't a diaper-wearing baby. I'm not a baby! Look at the way his little thumb pulls back the hammer. He's adorable. People always showing me disrespect. I should never have started drinking from that fountain of youth. Edutainment. <laughs> what fountain of youth are you talking about? That fountain right there, Brainiac. You expect us to believe the fountain of youth is on Easter Island? I can't believe it. I can't believe how perfect he is. Step aside, sport. We grown-ups have to take care of a great big mean old volcano god. You and your companion will be wanting to take a step back. He's trying to intimidate us. He's just perfect. Please, let's take him home. Not now, Max. Then when, <laughs> Sam? My biological clock is ticking, and I'm not getting any younger. Also, hello there, Pelgeon. How you doing? Long time no see. You've been hitting the fountain water a little hard, haven't you? I do partake on occasion, yes. That's my business. He likes his fountain of youth water, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no problem, so don't go saying that I do. It's just a little discretion is required. Drink too little, and you have to go through puberty again. Too much, and bada-bing! <laughs> Why'd you drink yourself back to infancy? Look, I ain't got no... It's just a drink too... Oh, serious. Playtime is oh, over, son. Come on, We've seriously. got important work to do. I'm expanding my enterprises back here, and I'd hate for either of you to get hurt in the construction. We'll take that risk. We're freelance police. Freelancers? That's worse than scabs. <laughs> I want to punt him. Please, let me fucking field goal kick his ass into the volcano. <laughs> is baby getting fussy? Is it his bedtime? Stop it! I wonder if his precious little skull is soft and malleable like a real baby's. How can we find out? Oh my god. Is baby gassy? Does baby need to be burped? Get out of here. <laughs> we'll give you a nice big rattle for that dumb old gun of yours. You two are seriously trying my patience. Sam, let's teach him the wrong words for things. <laughs> We're going bye-bye now. Bye-bye. You'll stay gone if you know what's good for you. Sam!
him. Look how his little eyes and the barrel of his gun follow us. <laughs> I could squeal. <laughs> Max, you have a problem. But we all knew that. It looks like we've stumbled into some primitive tiki bar, Max. Pipe down, Chucklehead. Oh, I was hoping to get into a Lagomorphs Gone Wild video. Howdy, boys. Haven't seen you around before. Sam, they're all babies! Stay calm, Max. They're more frightened of you than you are of them. Let's see here. Who are you? Hi, fellas. What brings you to our little slice of paradise? Sam and Max, freelance police, ma'am. And we're here to stop a volcano. You babies are in danger. Shut up. We're not babies. God. <laughs> He's right. Pleased to meet you, boys. Don't be fooled by the divers. We've been around the block a few times. My name's Amelia Earhart. You've already met Mr. Charles Lindbergh, Jr. Whatever. And that other fella is one Mr. Dan Cooper. Hey, how y'all doing? Call me DB. Everybody does. Did y'all fly out here? Woohoo! Good God. What gives? You guys have been missing for decades. That's the funny thing about this island. It's easy to lose track of time. You don't call, you don't write. You pet conspiracy theorists and documentary filmmakers worried sick. Whatever. You can't tell us what to do. I mean, technically we can. I mean, we are, we are older, so... We can, we, well, yeah, we can boss you around. Yeah, we can boss you around. Why haven't you gone home? And ruin a clean getaway? Heck no. They don't understand me at home. My parents are so stupid. And I made a drink order in 1973. I'm not leaving until I get some service. Your parents are dead. I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations, whatever you want to call it, is a uh, long gone and past for the crimes you committed. And then how did you order a drink when there's like next to no one here? Who was made in the bar in 1973 for you to make a drink? Oh. My head hurts. You look younger than in your pictures. It's that dang fountain. Once you start drinking from it, you can't stop. We had to put the fountain off limits, or we would have drunk ourselves out of existence. Ironic, ain't it? I made my reputation being a woman unafraid to wear pants, and now I'm wearing rubber pants. It must have been a big adjustment going back to wearing diapers. Oh, not for me. When you're in my line of work, it helps to have some extra protection, if you know what I'm saying. Did I ever tell y'all about how I dodged them feds and jumped out of a jumbo? Only like a million times. How'd you manage to all regress to exactly the same age? It was a very carefully planned and executed drinking game. You take a drink every time DB says the word parachute. You... You know, fair enough. What do you guys do for fun around here? We used to ride the bucking surfboard until we drank ourselves under the hot limit. Dang, that son of a bee was a hoot and a half. Give me a few more years and I'll beat your record, Amelia. What do you guys do for fun? We used to ride the... Okay, so, See you around, so long for now, I guess. Hey, Max. Want to see how I won all those surfing trophies back in school? No, I don't want to see you cry to the PE teacher and then beg me to club your competitors in the knees. Why? Oh, you're just jealous of my more plausible center of gravity. Watch this. Watch out for flying bottles. Wait, what? Oh! It's a minigame! I didn't know! You lost, Sam. True surfers don't lose, pal. We just bide our time and hop on the next wave. True surfers don't flail their arms and shriek like startled raccoons, either. I'm pretty sure you lost. Let's try it again. Prepare to have your socks knocked off, little pal. I don't wear socks, Sam. Just humor me. I feel better pretending that you're not naked. Woo! Wee! Ride that sucker! Oh! Shit! <laughs> the sun was in my eyes. I'm gonna take another crack at that surfboard. Do it. Oh shit! Why did I start in that angle? Why didn't I start in the middle? Max, check this out. Oh wait! Hot damn! 
radical. Let's go. Oh, shit. The sun was in my eyes. I will win this I'm game. I'm gonna take another crack at No way. Nope. There's no pattern, but there is pattern, I don't see it. Oops. I could be an idiot. I'm very well just a massive idiot. Okay, last Max, run. Let's check try. this out. Hey, six moon doggy. Ride it. Watch out for flying bottles. Hey, six moon doggy. Nope. Oh. All right. Never that. The sun was in my eyes. Actually, no one I'm gonna take another crack at No way. Radical. Radical. Well, oh, that I was see. entirely pointless. You know what? You were right. It was pointless, but I don't care. That was fun. <laughs> Ooh, cup. My super dare cup. Ooh. Artificial color. Oh, oh my god. All the nasty shit. They've already got their drinks. That they do. Hiya, boys. You're new here, right? Sam and Max, yes. freelance volcano stoppers. Well, gosh, I'm glad to meet you. I I'm Glenn Miller. Well, maybe you boys can help me out. You're a missing person? We thought you were dead. Yeah, no, I get that a lot. I was here 20 years before I believed I wasn't really dead. <laughs> Hated to break it to you, Glenn, but all that hot playing was getting annoying. How'd you end up here? I was on a, a mission for the Air Force, and, and I flew here. You mean your plane was sucked through a portal into an alternate dimension and deposited here? No, just got kind of lost and crashed on Easter Island. You ever get a, a song stuck in your head and you can't get it out? It's downright distracting. You crashed a plane because you were distracted by a song in your head? Excuse me? Why didn't you ever go back home? I can't go back now without a big comeback hit. It, it'd be anticlimactic. Excuse me? What do you need help with? Well, I, I'm trying to find just that, that perfect sound for my next big hit. Oh, is that all? Well, gee, thanks, but I don't want to just put out a repeat of my early stuff. It's got to be new and, and fresh. But I'm stuck on, on two things. I need a catchy melody, and I need a good train sound. A, a good train sound? You need a melody Why? and a train whistle for your song? Well, you bet. I'm pulling out all the stops. This song's going to be about all the things the kids are into these days. Trains and sock hops, swing dancing, methamphetamines. But how are we going to find a new melody? You've been here 60 years and haven't been able to. <laughs> Give me a break, guys. I'm teething. Baby Lindbergh baby tells me that that electronic music is popular now. Maybe I should try that. Maybe, maybe. You need a melody and a train whistle for your song? You bet. Ooh, ooh. Nice try, fellas, but it's a little pitchy. Give me a good melody and a convincing train sound, and we'll be all set. Okay. What's Benny Goodman like in person? Well, Benny could do things with a clarinet that nobody else could. Well, thank God, hey, uh, one night after a show in New York, well, well, I'll just tell you it was the damnedest thing I ever saw, and, and leave it at that. Well, there's a lady present. 
was someone playing a clarinet with their butthole? <laughs> or was someone playing with the flesh clarinet downstairs? Was Count Basie really a vampire? A golem, actually, but we never held that against him. Those were simply times. Excuse me? Keep on rocking, Glenn. Word. God, you're cringy. Okay, so... We have to find a train with If some I stuff? had a hammer. Oh, you can take that mallet if you want. I was going to use it for percussion, but uh, I decided to go in a different direction. Hmm. Any direction that doesn't involve hitting things with hammers is no direction I want to go. Thank you and good day, sir. It's a swing town inferno. Ooh, wait. We have water here, right? We put it in the tea kettle. The fire's not intense enough to boil the water. More fire! More fire! What if we throw this into it? Nothing doing. No? Okay. Nothing says remote tropical island like the steel pan. Except dysentery. I'd better not. Last time I played the bongo, I started a bloody decades-long tribal war. Best open mic night ever! Excuse me? Alas, Gene Krupa. I knew him. I don't get that reference. I feel bad for not getting that reference. Let's see. So we, uh, increase the intensity of the fire. Then find a melody. Can we get some stuff off What's Noah's left boat? of Noah's Ark? Maybe. Hey, buddy, you want a drink? Okay, okay. Angry. He's angry. He's so angry. Wait. I have an idea. But I don't think I can do it just yet, sadly. Let's see, um... What can I use to get some more heat? Howdy, cops. Anything new in the auto body business? Do you want to have ladies love you and men want to be you? Yeah. Naturally. Make that dream a reality with our brand new car horn. With a captivating melody composed by our resident musical maestro. OMFT, I want one! All right, enough with the sales pitch. How much? It is not for sale. Turn on! We're sorry. The Synthotronic Audio Enhancer is available exclusively to beta testers of our new augmented reality game. These guys are fucking useless, I swear to god. Okay, let's see here. Um, what's the new game Tell about, us about this guys? new game you're working on. I'll, I'll play it, I'll try That it. is correct. It will revolutionize the entire industry. A music-based video game. BOOM! We are sorry. Did we just blow your mind? Sounds fun. I don't like to brag, but my prowess at Banjo Legend Extreme is pretty renowned throughout the Tri-State area. And I've been banned from 27 local arcades for playing Forbidden Dance Insurrection in ways the designers never intended. Does not confuse. You are saying that music video games already exist? Yes. Failure! Yeah. How do we play this game of yours? In a world where folk music instruments litter the mean streets, your mission is clear. Destroy all the bagpipes! Bagpipe Obliteration Ultimate! Don't we have to destroy the bagpipes at the right time, earning more points the closer we get to being in rhythm with the soundtrack? That's way too complicated! Calculating that would require processing power far beyond error, not a number. Just destroy all the bagpipes to win our exclusive new car horn! We hate bagpipes! Would you like to play our game? 
Sure, I guess. I'll go hit some Let's bag pipes in my car, I'm assuming. Or shoot back. You know what, yeah? Maybe you shoot back. No, okay, we're good. We're hitting bag pipes in the car. Okay, got it. Hello, and Let's welcome go. to the Pimplicar Music Challenge. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Bring the noise! Ready? Go! We got this. Wait a minute. Is this? I know this song, and it's bugging me that I can't think of the name. Congratulations! You are a winner! Yeah, yeah. That's gotta be it. Congratulations! Maybe? You've won the exclusive Pimp Lacan Audio Enhancement Accessory! I'm as your friends! Be sure to come back soon and play again. But, but Sam! Don't worry, Max. I'll put it back before we go cruising again. I, I was thinking, uh, what song? I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad. Hey, cops, what's new? Who is overrated? I know the tune. That's what's bugging me. I know the tune, but I don't know what the song is. That's gonna bug the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, no. We'd play like to play again. your game again. Obliterate the bagpipes to win fabulous prizes. Give me the With prizes, my driving baby. skills and your dead weight, we're going to have the most tricked out car in the neighborhood. I just like to win things. That's fair. That's fair. Let's your goal is go. to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Here we go. You saw. Shit. I hit one accordion. Man. I don't know this song. The tune sounds familiar, but I don't know it all. It's slightly familiar. Any yeses? Congratulations! You are a winner! Would you like to keep trying for more decals? Yeah! Of course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Let's do it. Shit. I don't, I don't know. This one's all sounds like familiar shit, but I don't know it. There is a job for you, chat. Someone Google what the bagpipe songs are and say what that would be on this time and space. 
Oh, I saw that. I should have hooked that. Dang it. Let's go. Is that it? No. Trick, I like it. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Congratulations, you are a winner. Would you like to keep trying for more decal? Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's go. Yes. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Let's do it. You just earned a free decal. I hit a tire. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I screwed up royally. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes. Congratulations! You are a winner! Would you like to try again? I don't think... I think we have actually all of the... No, I of course. see it. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over that. the bagpipes, and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! I saw the safe. I saw it. Where to go? Where to go? Can't hide me from a failure! Would you like to try again? Of, of course. course. We're just getting warmed up. Your goal is to drive over the bagpipes and only the bagpipes. Ready? Go! Free decal awarded. Was that a... Okay. Giant skunk ape balloon. Decal for you! Failure! You know, Would you I like to care. try again? I got the other decals. No way. My We've ass. got better things to do. We are skeptical, but if you insist, shut down in progress. Alright. I don't see another a decal for the balloon, huh? Did I actually hit it right? I think it. Yeah, no, there it is. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I think it's like three an episode that you can get decals. I could be wrong. Hey, your brains, you have a grand prize. Howdy, cops. Do you guys know anything about Easter Island? Accessing Ellipsis, Easter Island was founded in 1914 by former members of the ATS Progressive Rock Band Asia. 
Located off the southwest coast of your mom, the island is considered by many to be the birthplace of television personality Ryan Seacrest, as well as American jazz music. I see you're still doing all your research on the internet. Information wants to be wrong! <sighs> Do you know anything about missing persons? Have you tried looking on Easter Island? Most end up there. So, you have no idea what Easter Island actually is, because you, you're going to the internet for the idea what it is, but you know that everyone goes missing goes there. The fuck? How do you stop a rampaging volcano god? I love that joke. Get me every time! Uh, how? See I don't you, know cops. What the joke Keep is. a song in your hearts. Whatever. I feel bad now. I wanted to know the joke. Sybil's office is closed. What does she do now, anyway? I don't know, but whatever it is, she's doing even less of it than usual. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I'm missing one. I'm missing a singular one. Where are we going, Sam? the back of the game let's just drive around nowhere i want to admire our decals nowhere in particular let's just drive we're missing a single decal where is that son of a bitch where is that son of a bitch where are you Signs it. Are you on the sidewalk? Is it in the sky? Maybe? I don't entirely know. That's worth a decal. It was it was a kitchen sink. The thing I was missing was a bloody kitchen sink. Congratulations, you've earned every decal currently in stock. Yay? You rock! You win the big honkin' mystery prize. Thanks, guys. You make the best completely worthless upgrades around. I got a hurly girl. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> Give all the good ones and the hurlinger. <laughs> okay, what we're we doing? Let's see if we're gonna find a tune and a train sound. We're gonna find something that can burn too. Hmm. Hey Bosco. You got something that can burn back there. Hey Bosco. You really are being watched. Hey, Bosco, did you know you're being watched? Do you guys even know me? Of course I know that. No, we mean right now, from inside Stinkies. Y'all just trying to make me paranoid. You think I don't have a camera inside Stinkies? I'd know if I was being watched. Where's the camera? Oh, it's genius. Hidden inside the pie that nobody ever eats. Oops. And uh, by the way, Tell Stinky her place would look a lot better if she didn't have that big black lump in the boot that looks like a small intestine. Hey, what, you... <laughs> what do you know about Easter Island? Why? Who told you to ask me that? Just some guy outside in a black suit and sunglasses. Seem to know a lot about you, Bosco. <gasps> They're getting closer! <laughs> Does the water taste funny to you? Bosco, has the water been tasting funny to you? You notice it too? Ever since we saw those government guys working on the pipes down the street. It tastes like control and makes me want to pay taxes. Good thing I just steal, sanitize, and recycle my own water. I... You're drinking your own piss. You know anything about those black helicopters hovering outside? Stop trying to freak me out, fools! I'm busy. 
but but we like freaking you out. Do you have any honey bunches of pumice brand cereal? Yes, it's good. And it's good for you. And it's all for the bunker. Do you have any stem packs and radiation chems? Sure do. It wouldn't be a good emergency bunker without them. Nice. I like the reference. Do you have any zombie repellent? Get out of here. There's no such thing as zombies. That's just what they want you to think. Mm -hmm. Do you have any powdered drink mix? Cases of it. In every flavor you can think of. Three-day-old rigatoni stuffed with marshmallow peeps in an orange soda reduction with a hint of cilantro. Every flavor a normal person can think of. <laughs> Do you have any eyeglass repair kits? Not much worse than being stuck in the apocalypse with all the time in the world to read and then have your glasses break. Y'all think I'm an amateur? This bunker is going to be 100% irony proof. Are you sure about that? Do you have any... Look, for the last time, it's all for the bunker. Give it a rest already. See you, Bosco. Not for long. But I want to keep screwing with you because it's fucking funny. Okay, um, let's see. Maybe there's something in the office that can burn? Maybe? Or maybe Jimmy? Miss me already, chumps? Well, I ain't coming back no matter how much you beg. The place just isn't the same without your persistent funk and wheezy snoring. Yeah, well, I'm done with that rat hole. This new place is extra class. We're gonna do it up nice. I... I really don't believe you. You got your whole family in there? My whole crew, except for three-eyed Lenny and the Gooch. God rest them. What happened to them? Let me just say, you don't want to be hiding out in a robot's exhaust system when it loses control of its motor functions. Some poor son of a rat bastard. <laughs> Named Gooch. Died in a robot's exhaust Holding up in a giant system. robot is no way to live, Jimmy. Eh, hey, you're just jealous. I hate it when he's right. Holding up in a giant robot is no way to live, Jimmy. Eh, hey, you're just jealous. I hate it when he's right. I mean, yeah, yeah. I want a giant robot. Too bad this only protects your car from meter maids and not giant robots, carnivorous plants, or vengeful spirits. You park in this neighborhood, you take your chances. Let's go back first. So, we have the horn. The question is... What do we do with it? Nope. I'm assuming it's the guy over in there, in the tiki bar. I'm assuming... Maybe? Possibly? I, I can only assume. Hey there, man, you want a horn? Hey, Glenn, listen to this action. That's, that's fantastic. Who wrote it? Bring him with you so I can work with him full time. I don't think he'd like it here. No outlets. Well, in any case, that's the perfect melody for my new hit. Well, now just find me a good train sound and we're all set. A good train? I know how to get it. I need to... I need to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I ring the gong in Sybil's place and a portal pops up? Is that what I'm supposed to get off this? Is that the idea? Hey man, you, 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 you wanna, wanna drink? Want a drink, Mr. Hoffa? Jimmy Hoffa cannot accept a drink from non-union waitstaff. Do you want it in your shippy cup? 
I want it served by a dues-paying member of the Waitresses' Union. How do we get into the Waitresses' Union? Fortunately for you, I am the Union Leader and also dues collector. Yeah, yeah. I know a setup when I see one. I suppose you want a favor to let us in the Union. Prove you can keep from spilling on the paying customers. Take a tray of drinks and ride the bucking surfboard without dropping anything. Uh, you s okay. Okay, here we go. So we gotta ride it with without dropping this shit. Okay. Max, check this out. Watch out for flying bottles. Whoa. Oh god, okay. Oops. On my head, really? Watch out for flying bottles! Oh, wait! Hot damn! Woo, wait! Ride that sucker! Whoa! Oh, wait! Hot damn! Ow, shit! I was so close! The sun was in my eyes. So close. Let's do it. Watch out for flying bottles! Whoa! No, 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 no! Hang six, Moon Doggy. Oh. Hot dang! You wrote that thing like Marion Davies at the Hearst Castle. Now do it with me on your head. Not unless no. one of the babies lets you borrow his diaper. You're too easily startled. We did it! Yay! Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Hoffa. I did it. How about that, Hoffa? Didn't drop a single bottle. Impressive, I must admit. All right, all right, you're in. You're lucky I'm very thirsty. Now get me a drink. I gotcha, here you go. You son of a bee. Thank you. Our little man's going to need changing. Try it and I'll shoot off both your paws. So now we gotta figure out how we're gonna take care of that now. Uh, let's see. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. Hit this. Oh, cool. Let's see, what does this do? So can we only have, like, one? Well, that's depressing now, isn't it? Let's see, we're gonna get some more wood. What's left of Noah's Ark? Can we not tear it off that? How did you find picnic stuff on a desolate island? Easy. It was all in the picnic basket. So long, you two. Okay, can't do anything with that. Nothing but junk. With that. Wait, can I burn the granite sandwich? Can I do that? No siree. I think so. Um, hmm. Shitty titties. Let's see. Um, what? Oh, what? Oh, what can I burn? Does anything water. have ingredients, artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and water? The diaper rash. Ingredients? Bourbon, guava juice, mint, and talcum powder. No, you, the pacifier. Can I burn you? Oh, 
Pardon me, Ooh. boys. Was that the Rapa Nui Choo Choo? No, it's just an eerily accurate simulacrum of a train whistle we constructed out of everyday household items. Don't say simulacrum. Well, that's perfect. That's just the sound I need for my big hit. Let's get started making musical history, boys. There's a demo on that conch shell. This is gonna be huge. Are we going to get a producer credit? Talk to my agent. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let's see, um, I think, wait, right, you need something to listen to, uh, trying to get the whistle again, uh, can I get you to listen? Take a listen to this. Oh, is it another of Glenn Miller's recordings? I've probably already heard it. It's the hot new sound that's sweeping the nation! Crank it up, Sam! Hmm, this isn't bad. It's got a good beat. Could do without the train sound, but the rest, it's downright toe tapping. What is that enchanting whistling sound? Abe, are you even listening to me? No, no, he's not. Not in the slightest. It's a silver gong. I now piss you off? How's that dirt tasting? <sighs> okay, it took too long. Uh, so I, I, I had the right idea. So I thought of earlier, if I can get Have you another to listen to this new hit. Right. Keep blow things. If I can get them to blow. How's that dirt tasting? Win. Yeah! I'm thinking big brain! Hmm, anybody have any malt vinegar? I'm thinking big brain! Look at me go! Drink up! Oh, Jimmy Hoffa! I got. Why did I do like. 15 different tones with my voice there. Oh, ha, ha. I got a drink for you. It's fresh. Thank you. Hmm. This tastes familiar. I can't place exactly where. Oh, wait. I remember. Goodbye. Sorry, Max. I know you were getting attached <laughs> to the little guy, but it's for the good of the island. Attached to who? Oh, right. Did he leave his gun? I don't think he did. All right, into the ancient hidden underground cave. Don't miss it. You must see it. <laughs> Ooh, you back with some banana Anybody home? pudding? We're here to fix chocolate. your volcano, God. Interlopers. You dare violate our most sacred sanctuary! You're all in danger. The volcano's going to erupt. I don't like how their tentacles move. You threaten defeat! You must answer to our leader, the High Priest! Oh, why? Why the goldfish? Mighty Kamehameha doing donuts in a splintered paddle boat. Look, Max, it's the spectral form of Mr. Spatula. That's just our dead goldfish! Gus! Your anger, High Priest! Oh, mighty one! What be the punishment? High Priest has spoken! You to be executed! Now hang on. What you have say for self? I have many things to say for myself. You can't kill us, we're famous! You can't execute us. We're the freelance police. Killing us would bring down the wrath of legions of fans and licensors! Not to mention the ASPCA. We no like killing. Speak for self. But <laughs> we must act on will of High Priest. 
He our only conduit to mighty feet. My... Be reasonable, see. Think about what case. you're doing. You seem like a fairly reasonable group of. Uh, what are you anyway? We are the Underfoot, protectors of the sacred home of Ranakao, the volcano god. The air breathers call us ocean chimps. We no like that name. Mr. Special is pure evil. Your high priest is a false prophet. Evil. That very serious claim to make could make us lose tax exempt status. How you back it up? With a fillet knife and some sushi rice. Kill them! <laughs> we know that imposter is lying because Max is the true high priest. Hmm, he does have feet. Maybe Shulu's dog speaks the truth. Look. We ancient civilization that worship giant feet who speak to us through ghost fish, high priest. We're not gullible. If white one it's... with mouth truly is high priest, I... he prove it by fulfilling the ancient prophecies. I bet there are three of them. He knows our ancient traditions. Maybe he really is the chosen one. Ancients say that an outsider will be anointed by the feet. The feet will recognize him. And he will perform great miracle to feed his people. What was water becomes delicious treat. And the island itself will show us the face of the true high priest. He appears before us in the living rock. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm, I found myself a wee bit speechless. You just admitted you were an ancient civilization who worships the giant rock grippers dangling from the ceiling. Then the only way you can talk to these giant concrete grippers in the ceiling, concrete rock grippers in the ceiling, is through a ghost fish that used to inhabit our house that floats around in a fucking water cooler. Oh yeah, totally. You're not global. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll shoot Max's true face. What do you mean about the island showing his true face? Prophecy say image of true high priest will appear to us in the cavern. That prove our high priest is the one. Look. You mean that image of Max? What? Eesh. You crazy? That no look anything like Max. Max have two ears. That just a seashell. Rock next to it look exactly like High Priest, though. It miracle! It a miracle! <laughs> what kind of miracle are you guys looking for? Prophecy say the High Priest feed us all by turning water to banang. Banang! Banang! Banang? A delicious banana flavor drink. That fortified with essential vitamins and minerals. Niacin! Riboflavin! <laughs> Explain this whole anointed by the feet business. The great feet speak to us through the high priest. The outsiders stand under the great feet. They move to show they accept him. Oh, sweet. All God. that is Max okay. in a nutshell. We believe it when we see it. We fair people. We give you until sundown. You prove white one is high priest, and we no kill you. So you worship feet? So let me get this straight. You worship feet? Yes, the great feet that hang over us always. The ways of the world are written in the toes. The first toe go into <laughs> the world to bring food to his people. While the second watch over his people always. One go to market, one stay home. The third teach us to appreciate bounty of nature. While the fourth teach us purity of the fast. One have roast beef, one have none. And when the end times oh, come, no. <laughs> the fifth toe return to deliver his people home to paradise. Wee, wee, wee. All, All the way, way home. home. Oh, son of a bitch. What? My head hurts. What are these prophecies the high priest has to fulfill? Prophecies say 
true high priest will be anointed by the feet, will perform miracle to feed us, and the island will show us his true <laughs> face. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. We'll be back. Remember, death at sundown. Don't be late. Do you remember? You'll see your um. Ooh. Gong. Can I ring it? It's a gong for summoning one of those gold Bermuda triangles. Ring a ding ding. So I'm wondering, right? If I were to play the music down here. When she, do you think that one whist, like wiggles her feet when she whistles? Are those, are those the toys from Santa? What, no, what is that? Is that Max Payne? That's not Max Payne, is that, uh... I don't know, what the hell is that? Is that Hello, Max chimps. Dead dog walking! Wow, rude. We want to get Max anointed up. Oh, mighty okay, feet. Okay, we humor you. Oh, mighty feet, give us a sign. Do you recognize this white stranger as your servant? Give it a minute. The feet just don't recognize me without the mustache. You waste mustache. our time. Mustache. Feet say you not high priest. We killed him now? No. We must wait for sundown. Let's see here. How? What else can I? What else can I get here? Ooh. Crates full of video games about crates. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. Hmm, some interesting seaside reading. Is it piloting for imbeciles? Nope. The Desperately Lonely Traveler's Guide to Easter Island. For the most relaxing trip on Easter Island, bring plenty of basalt. It's a mind-altering substance for the Moai that helps them tune in, turn on, and drop out. Huh, interesting. Hmm, the plane's radio still seems to be working. Oh, cool. Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar. You are listening to 107.7 KSAM. We are we are observing your Earth. Over and out. <laughs> you know what? I gotta do a radio voice. Do it. You are listening to 107.7 KSAM. You are live with me right now, Tyro. You are deep voiced. Utterly beautiful narrating fox here to drift you off into the night time with all the classiest tunes that you can imagine. So sit on back, relax, grab a nice cup of coffee or a nice cup of tea because you and me are looking around the soul train of night, baby. Just you and me. You're listening to <laughs> Get the Let Out Weekend on 107.7 KSAM. K-S-A-M, Easter Island. <laughs> we are observing your Earth, and we'd like to make a contact with you, baby. Oh, baby. Steven. <laughs> Attention, Charlie, India, Oscar, 1017-2006. <laughs> Over and out.
Over and out. Can I, can I screw with this? Attention. Charlie. India. Oscar. 10172006. Oh no, there it is. Torah, Torah, Torah. Torah, Torah, Torah. Attention. Charlie. India. Oscar. 10172006. Tora, Tora, Tora! All right. Over and out. Hello? We are observing your Earth, and we'd like to make a contact with you, baby. No. Nope. Over and out. I know you're out there. Oh, hey, there you are, Bosco. And we're back for Max and S Dog in the morning. Let's skip the small talk, Sam, and get straight to the pranks and racial slurs. <laughs> You're listening to Get the Let Out Weekend on 107.7 KSAM. KSAM, Easter Island. <laughs> we are observing your Earth. What? We have come at last. Prepare to meet your doom. I knew it! Oh, I'm ready for you suckers. You just try and find me. We heard that, Bosco. We are not amused. Yeah, can't talk. Gotta go. <laughs> so, do we now uh, go and steal some Benang? I remember seeing Benang in his, in his store. Ooh. Max? I was hungry. Hey, it's our missing bowling ball, Lou. I'd assumed he'd gone on strike. <laughs> Comments like that are yet another reason you need to get me that harpoon gun. <laughs> Ooh. It's an incontinent sea snail. I hope that's red ink and not something else. The world beneath the sea is both wondrous and completely disgusting. That it is. That it is. I used to like look into sea life for a while because I got really I got bored for a while and you know wanted to learn some things. And holy crap, some of the things you see underwater. My, one of my favorite though. My favorite, one of my favorite. The Pikachu sea slug. It's so cute. It is so cute. If y'all don't know what the what the Pikachu sea slug is. Oh, up. Abe, isn't it beautiful with that gentle breeze and that melody in the air? Mm. Abe, ever since those heads started talking, you haven't heard one word I've said. Right. What? Oh, I mean, they talk? I, I hadn't noticed. So anyway, for our next vacation, Hey, Wendy. We... Sybil, I mean, Sybil. Have you ever thought about getting some surgery done? What? Excuse me? I was thinking, if you had your nose stretched out some, maybe squared off the head a little, you'd look fantastic. Not that you don't look nice now, of course. That is it! You've done nothing but stare at her this entire time! Come on, I'm a man. I'm not made of stone. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean, all right. You're just in a mood. No, I'm not! I will long remember what you said here. And I will never forget what you did here. I just can't believe you'd insult me like this. And on my birthday. Did somebody say birthday? birthday? Holy! What? Again, I forget to bring my video camera. <laughs> Everything is so bad. Everything is fucking awful. Woof. Actually, hold on. Let's go get the banang. First. Banang. 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 Do, 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 do. 
so where the hell did he go? Eh, oh well. Think Bosco would mind if we helped ourselves to some banane? Good question. Another good question. One can or two? One should be plenty. What about five? I want five cans. I like banana flavor. I have this weird thing that I like too. So, I will. Ha I have a guilty pleasure, right? If you're not from the states, you don't. You probably won't know what this is. But uh, there is this restaurant called Sonic. <laughs> You know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting I'm talking about, I have, like, a mixture of both American and European, so, like, uh, yeah. There is this, there's a restaurant called Sonic, right? And they make amazing milkshakes. Fucking amazing milkshakes. One of my favorite things to do from them is a vanilla milkshake with fresh banana put into it. Oh my god, it's good. <laughs> it's so good. It's a gold gong. Gong. Yeah, I, I don't know why I worded it like that. I mean, granted, I know I have like a quite a few uh, viewers, both on the YouTube side of things and on the Twitch side of things that aren't from America. So I kind of press it like that. And yeah, yeah, I'm curious that's why I did it. Okay, so. Banang! Banang. Not happening. Banang. No way. Banang. Let's see here. Um. The feet shall anoint the Let's max. Let's get Max anointed again. Oh, mighty feet, give us a sign. Do you recognize this white stranger as your servant? Yes. Grab that. Go in there. Praise to the true high priest! I don't like that. Look! I don't like that. Move! He must be high priest! Uh-huh, that's right. Bring the love. Good to see you too, mighty feet. Sign is clear. Mighty feet anoint you as high priest. Give blessing. But you still not satisfy all three prophecies. Rules very explicit on this. Show us two more and we're convinced. I'm assuming I need to get the water from the bar, right? I'm assuming. How do I... Another one of nature's horrifying wonders. I gotta agree with the chimps, Sam. That looks nothing like me. What do we do? Nuh-uh. No. Bowling ball, tray, granite sandwich. Banang. Hmm. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. So, Sybil won't... Sybil, oh my god. Uh, what's her face? The bitch. She will not sell us anything with uh, a salt in it unless we're small children, right? So, what if we drink this? Do that. What if we do that? Drink it all, little buddy. All the good youth is at the bottom. Well, did it work? I guess so. I think your music sucks and I want to stay out all night. You already do that, Chowderhead. Now let's hurry up before our voices start changing. Oh my god, look at me run. What happened, Sam? I feel a sudden urge to vote Republican. <laughs> We're not as young as we used to be, Max. The fountain's effects wore off quickly. 
<laughs> Sam, help me. <laughs> Hiya, Stinky. What? Oh. Sup? Can I ring you? Hmm, nothing happened. Why doesn't Stinky's gong work like the ones on Easter Island? Maybe we need the special thing? I can't reach it. No? Wait. This your pipe, Stinky? Yes, I looted it from the corpse of a 50-foot Sherlock Holmes. It Nah. No. Well, there was my idea. Shit. Hi, you stinky. Um. Have you ever been to Easter Island? Oh, sure. I lived there for a few years when I was growing up. My au pair was surfing legend. Shit. We're ready to order. Never mind. I misclick things. My bad. Bye, Stinky. Well, shit, that plan went all kinds Whee! of hell. I'm on the right track, though. I'm on the right track. The issue is... How do I get there in time? Maybe we need to do the, uh whole anointing thing before? Maybe? Whee! I'm assuming so. I'm assuming. Let's go get more of that uh, Nestle sponsored water. Dog spooky cave, we go. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, water into not the happening. Earth. Okay, so I think we need to. Have Maxwell with them. Um, worship me, I've got feet. Well, I don't like to brag, but you know, I've got feet. We know that's the only reason we not kill you yet. Maybe Shula's dog is the chosen one. No, he walks among them, but he is not one of them. His foot is incomplete. Oh my God, Sam, they're right. You've only got three toes. That's disgusting. I can't believe I never noticed that before. <laughs> What's required in these prophecies again? Prophecies say true high priest will be anointed by the feet, will perform miracle to feed us, and the island will show us his true face. Uh, let's see. Um, what miracle were we supposed to prophecy say? Thanks for the reminder. How come you guys never looked as good in real life as you do in the ads? Our young, very delicate, require perfect conditions to grow. Yeah, we only reach full size when raised by children whose parents truly love them. So, boxers or briefs? Wait, before you talk, we have question. How you air breathers survive down here? I had the forethought to use bubble wrap and crazy straws to fashion my tie into a stylish and nearly imperceptible aqualong. And I'm amphibious. Sure, it got me teased a lot in school, but as it turns out, it's pretty useful. I... We'll be back. How? It's some kind of ceremonial urn. We eat ritual food from there. Like still beating hearts of victims. Or party mix. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty big jump in things. Not gonna lie, guys. We'll be back. 
So how do I combine? How do I do, how do, we do the next thing? Nope. Put the water in the earth. No way. No. Do I put Penang in it? Penang. Hey chimps, no watch as High Priest Max performs a great miracle. Oh mighty feet, hear my command! What was once water, make flavorful drink for my people. What was once colorless, make yellow. That not impressive. What was once without sustenance, make enriched with calcium, which is something our bodies need anyway. Just get on with it, Max. Eureka! Banang! 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 Eat like a party in the moat! Eat miracle! Mighty feet grant you great power! Banang! But you still not high priest yet! Most satisfy final prophecy! Okay, so let's see. How are we gonna do the last one? Um. Sandwich? No, sirree. No. He's thing long and cylindrical. Nuh uh. Snail? Nah. No? The water cooler is one of the most often repeated forms appearing in nature. Do I shoot something down? Wait. Our guns don't work underwater. Reason 976 to get me that harpoon gun. That precariously hanging stalactite looks awfully familiar. Well, how the hell are we gonna get it down? Do we get it with the bowling ball? I'm all bowled out. No, um... The mallet? Nothing doing. You don't want to chuck the mallet at it? I'm there, you're... In the pod? It's the entrance to the lava machine. That only used by High Priest. We're in his entourage. His entourage is just me. Only I can open Magic Door. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can with a magic door. It's a door. gong for summoning one of those silver Bermuda triangles. to get uh, a stick up his ass. Get the little uh, shakes. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. So we have to make him laugh. Not happening. Hmm. Nothing doing. Y'all want a sandwich? Sandwich? No, they're all on low-carb diets. So let's see here. Are we gonna, how are we gonna ground shake? How are we gonna do it? How are we doing this? I also have this random snail for some reason. I don't really know why I have the snail, but I have the snail. Things didn't go so well with Sybil, huh? Eh, she was cramping my style anyway. So, Miss Moai, how are you doing? Get bent, beardy. Fair enough. Ooh. Want us to put in a good word for you with Sybil? Nah, I've still got a shot with the locals. Not even after another thousand years. Wow, I haven't seen rejection on that scale since I whomped you in the last election. Maybe it's not too late too to make soon. it up to Sybil. Too I soon. don't know, Sam. He really screwed the pooch on that one. She'll come back. They always do. Mary Todd, Sybil, the South, they just can't stay away from the L-Man. Still enjoying the island, Mr. Lincoln? Oh, God, I'm so lonely. Still enjoying the island, Mr. Lincoln? Oh, God, I'm so lonely. <laughs> you want a snail? I like his natural color. It's his personality that needs changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. Want a snail? Nuh-uh. Want a snail? No way. Want a snail? Hmm. 
What oh what oh what oh what do I Stinky's trademark do? granite sandwich. So What do I have to do here? Red oozing snake. Nah. No siree. Wait. Wait. Maybe this is like the... That little glass sphere thing I had in Hit the Road, where this thing looks like absurdly stupid. And makes Hiya, no stinky. sense. What? Oh. What if I chuck the snail at something? I can't think of any other reason it would be around. Um, what are you guys doing? Uh, red improves digestion. Don't try to argue with feng shui, stinky. It's science. Why the fuck did that work? Bang? I never really expected that to work. Paranormal entities are dumb and gullible. I... Oh my god, my brain. <sighs> I don't know why that worked. I don't know how that worked. All I know is that my brain now hurts. I want to go home. <laughs> Drinky, drinky. To youth. Woo! Come on, go, go, go. Whee! Hey, Stinky. Hello, Miss Stinky. What do you boys want? Do you have money to pay? Drop the attitude, lady. I'm the president. Max. President's adorable nephew here for a visit. Well, since I know the president personally, I guess it's okay. What's your order? I'd like the we special. We like the special. You're in luck, boys. I've got one already made. One basalt sandwich coming up. Oh, that looks so... Aren't you gonna cut the crusts off? I've, um, misplaced my knife. You probably left it in the real Stinky's body. It's an honest mistake. Oh, that's silly, you little rascals. <laughs> now, run along and play before I call child services. Have you seen our parents? I gotta make duty real bad. I heard them laughing as they started the car. Can we live with you now? Stinky's is closed, kids. Go run and play in traffic. Oh my god. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> hey, you. My best friend Max has something very important to say to you. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. It is a very important thing to say. Max said the volcanoes were cool, and you were stupid for wanting to stop it. And when I told him to shut up, he pulled out a gun and shot at me. Nah, uh Sam started it! Look, I'm not good with kids. Can I just give you some money or something to make you go away? Well then... Hey, my friend Max bet me a quarter that you can't make it lightning again. I'm eleven three, kids. You can't tell us what to do! You're not our real father. <laughs> hey, Lincoln. You're scary looking. Did you know you got a big mole on your face? Are you wrinkly because you're old or because you worry about a lot of stuff? Did you mean not to grow a mustache or was it a shaving accident? You do realize I could crush you both, right? <laughs> you're scary looking. Did you not? Are you? Did you? You do. <laughs> oh, I love it. This junk is radical. I saw it first. 
Absolutely radical, utterly tubular. Hey, Max, the island's got wood. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, shit, we're feeding the salt. <laughs> we forgot to feed the man basalt. Go back outside. I read the book and now I know. Amen. You wanna get high? Hey look, we got you a mouth-watering basalt sandwich. <laughs> basalt? Hmm. It's been a while. What about the rabbity guy? Is he cool? More or less. Alright, quick, before my carvers get back. <laughs> oh man. That is some kind basalt. Dude, don't bogart the sandwich. Oh, man. It's like I can taste colors. Get a load of Cheech over here, Max. He's lit up like an arsonist's birthday cake. <laughs> no way, Sam. It's been like five <laughs> seconds. He can't be that much of a lightweight. Oh, yeah? Watch. We just killed your puppy. <laughs> what if none of us is real? Hello. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> You crack me up, little dude. <laughs> oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> hey, you guys want to order a pizza? I would love Sorry, to. Sorry, sir. We just accidentally killed your puppy. <laughs> dude. Oh, wait. What? Well, what if we're like all dreaming now, and what we think is a dream is really reality? That would explain why I'm always showing up at places with no clothes on. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wait, what? My man Peace is out. high Later, off dudes. his tits. Keep up the good oh work. Oh my god. Kurula. We're not going to here. All right. So we shook the ground like three or four times. It should be down now. Hey, there it is. It finally shook loose. Woo! All right. Go ahead and throw this here. Make sure you get my good side, Sam. You have a good side? Yeah, we got a good side. Look, over here. It's an image of the true high priest, Max. How that get there? Look just like him. It uncanny. That appear completely out of nowhere. Mighty feet. Show us face of true high priest. Prophecies are fulfilled. The feet have spoken. True high priest has returned. People of the feet. All shall love me and despair. No time for that now, little buddy. High priest, take rightful place on altar. Ooh. Uh-oh. We've got to get up there and stop that volcano. So wait. We still get to kill them now, yes? No. Now we deal with imposter. Phony so-called high priest, what have you to say for self? Yeah, what gives, Mr. Spatula? I thought we were pals. He say pals? Ha ha ha! Then he spit derisively. Now he say, me welcome death. Better than suffer tyranny of imprisonment on stale fish flakes. I knew I should have taken him for more walks. I blame myself. I blame you, too. We all blame you. No, he say. You think you won, Simon Max. You really just step in trap. I send Triangle to summon you here, and you stupid primitives to waste your time. We not primitive. We have cell phones. He say. Now you're too <laughs> late to stop Volcano. Fascist oppressor Simon Max get herbal tea and foot rubs once and for all. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Does this thing go any faster? No, he say. 
That not what I said at all. Me confused. Not herbal tea and foot robes. Rain of fire and drowning magma. I always mix those up. should have taken the express pie. Now he say, <laughs> come, Sam and Max. Come to your doom. In my spectral mm. form, I am invincible. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Now he say, my medallion, no, cannot be, what world, what world? Take him to the sacrificial toilet bowl. <laughs> Quickly. Uh-oh. 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 No time, Max. We're too late to stop the volcano. What do we do? Um... It's too late. The volcano's already going to erupt. It says, in case of emergency. Press it, Sam! Press it! Press it! I suppose now's as good a time as any. Hit it! Hmm, I what wonder hell? what that did. What?! Nothing more we can do here, Max. Let's go up top and check out the situation. What?! <laughs> the poor rabbit's dead. <laughs> I just spit slapped his ass. Hey, look! I had the parking brake on that whole time. Whoops. Oh my god. Sam, you're an idiot. High Priest Medallion. It's the official signet of the Ocean Chimps High Priest. Don't I get to wear it? We don't have a chain long enough to fit around your enormous head, chum. Yeah. Can I hit the crown too? <laughs> yes. That was very important that we stopped and did that. It was very important. Very, very important. <laughs> we had to do that. Very important. Bloody nosed Euclid doing the Eucharist Holy on a nitro burning shit. catamaran. That's the second biggest Bermuda Triangle I've ever seen. Seems to be spinning out of control, too. Second biggest. Well, uh -oh. there goes our only way home. I fail to see how this is helpful in an emergency. This is it. The volcano is about to explode. Bogus. Help us, Sam and Max. Utterly bogus, man. Ooh, ooh wait. Can I, can I gong? She. Yeah. Can I ring the gong? Um, so I rang that gong. Uh, what do we do about that now? Check this out, Max. Ooh, okay. Um, throw that in there? Maybe? I don't see a red octagon anywhere. Wait. Oh, shit. You have to run back down. You gotta run back down. Yeah, we know we gotta run back down. We gotta rub the medallion in snails, blood. I, I, I adore how the socks just flop around. In the snail trail? Yes. Look at me with a big brain. Run, 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 or speed walk just a little bit faster. A little bit faster now. A little bit faster. Go, go, go. Move your ass. With some urgency now, the island's gonna explode. Move with a sense of urgency. Okay. Nope. No. No. Uh -uh. Show it in the triangle. Alright! 
hope there's nobody on the other side of that triangle. I don't care. Oh, you <laughs> said it, dude, bro. You've done it. You've broken the prophecy. You've saved our ancient civilization from destruction. Hooray! So sweet thing. Now that's over with. Let's say you and I find somewhere private to get sedimentary. Yeah, I think we should spend some time apart. Your loss. Can I get a ride with you guys? Our portal back home is gone. We're gonna have to swim! Do you float, Mr. Lincoln? Only one way to find out. I get to ride on his dewlap! You can only call that once we get in the water. I guess we just sit here for another few thousand years. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I saved you! Hooray! Everything is safe and okay, but now you're stuck here for a thousand years. <laughs> Good god. Sure the snail snail didn't have any of E. Why did you have to say that, Gustav? Why? <laughs> Why? All right, guys, that was episode two of Sam and Max Beyond Space and Time. I hope y'all did enjoy it. I know I did. It hurt my brain a few times. I'm not gonna lie. But then again, these games. I'm gonna let the credits play on through here. I may or may not stream again tonight. I I have plans to do so. I don't know if I'm gonna do Hell Divers or some. Total War. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do, but I do know I want to take a small break and get some things done before I do do that, or before I do it, consider doing that again. So, with that being said, I'm going to write it in the stream once again, but before I do, actually, before I do, and the credits again, I'm going to try and see if a friend of mine is currently streaming, and I'm going to send you all his way. This is going to stream tonight, so hopefully I can send you all his way, and hopefully he's all to your liking. Oh, hey, look, post credits. Aliens! Dude. They have actual bodies? Excuse me? <laughs> they have actual bodies? Excuse me? <laughs> what in the Sam hell? Okay, so while this is on, I'm trying to see if he's actually live currently, I want to get the music playing again. Hopefully it's all to your liking. I'm going to get the uh, game program game going. Alright! Let's see here, is he currently live? He is... not. Dang. I thought he would be live right now. Well, they had feet. I know they had feet. I still doesn't, you know, still doesn't, you know, make things any better for me. You know, makes nothing better for me. Because that is gross and weird. <laughs> Holy shit! It's my buddy! It's my pal! I was gonna start seeing people your way! I was gonna send people your way, man! That's my buddy Panty Hopes. <laughs> he's one of my IRL buddies, and I don't wanna use his name on stream. I don't know if he's comfortable with that. I know I am not comfortable with people using my real name on stream, so. It is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and post his, a link to his channel. So I think he's gonna stream tonight. I don't want to look he's gonna be streaming tonight, but if y'all want to, I do encourage that you go and check him out. He's a lot of fun. He and his friends are a lot of fun. Maybe I can join the night if they're playing Helldivers or something. Maybe I can, maybe not. I don't know. But we're gonna see. But with all being said, though, guys, I have to go ahead and end it here. If you like the stream, please do consider subscribing and hitting the follow button and sharing it out with your friends. If you're watching the archive, hey, how you doing? How you doing, YouTube? You doing fine? I bet you're all doing wonderful and you're doing 
absolutely lovely. You sexy, sexy things, you. So, with all being said, I hope to see you all in the next stream, video, whatever it is I may do. But until then, though, guys, my name is Entival. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Until then, thank you, and good night.